so... Oh, babe. Did you think about what you want to do when we're done eating ice cream and waffles? Oh, you're right. We were supposed to go to Nordstrom's. I had completely forgotten about it. I know, babe. I, I promised you that we'd buy matching outfits there. So, it's time to keep my promise. And we can go to the Target right next door. You want to get that new duvet cover, right? Ours is getting kind of smelly. Who's Mark? Oh, the one that keeps calling me. It's, uh, just a co-worker. One of the producers that works on the podcast. I don't have to answer right now. I just want to enjoy this afternoon with you. Uh, you're probably right. If he's going to insist this much, it might be important. I'll call him back. Just wait for me here. I'm not hiding anything from you, babe. I simply don't want you to get bored because you have to listen to my conversation about work. You know. It won't take that long. I promise. Hi, love. Your finance were ring. I was worried. Are you okay? Yes, I am. I don't have time to talk to you right now. I'm busy. What do you want? Hey, no need to be so cold. I have great news. What is it? I'm pregnant. Excuse me? You what? My periods were late, so I took a pregnancy test, and it's positive. We are going to become parents. You're kidding, right? Why would I joke about that? Is there something wrong? <sighs> Listen, I can't talk about this right now. I told you I'm busy. Just, just get it taken care of. What? No. I want the baby. I don't want to kill him. I don't want to. You're not killing it. God. They just give you a pill, and then it's over. No, I'm pregnant. I can pretend nothing happened. I can't. I, I don't want to get rid of him. You're not killing it. It's not even a person yet. Just get rid of it. But I want to keep the baby. Okay, well, I don't want kids. <sighs> Hold on. Babe, I told you to wait for me. I'm almost done with this call. What do you mean I'm sus? No, I'm not. Well, yeah, Mark has a bit of a high-pitched voice. So what? It happens, you know. Not everyone is blessed with as much testosterone as me. All right, just let me hang up first, okay? Listen, I told you I don't have time for this right now. Just do as I told you, and I'll call you back later. Who were you talking to? Who this girl? Guy? It's my girlfriend. Now hang up. Excuse me? You what? I am your girlfriend. Don't make things more complicated for me. Just wait until I call you again. It doesn't seem that complicated to me. You obviously date two girls at the same time. Don't you know about that? Of course not. Girl, you'd better force your boyfriend to turn the speaker on. I'm sure you want to hear this. Damn it, Anna. Why do you have to be like this? Babe, yes, her name is Anna. It's not a co-worker named Mark. I, I lied to you, and I'm sorry, but I can explain. You want me to turn the speaker on? I don't really think that's a good idea. Okay, fine, I'm doing it. Are you happy now? Can we continue our conversation? It's not as if I had any other choice. So, what are you gonna do? 
And what are you gonna do to me? Nothing. Why would I do anything to you? I don't know, but then, how are you gonna deal with this? By saying that you don't want a baby? That's all? I mean, I guess you can go to the doctor. To the doctor? So you really want me to get rid of the baby? Yeah. Why do you want a kid now? Then why did you make me pregnant now? That's not what I wanted. How? We slept together for three months and you never wanted to use protection. What did you expect? I thought your pill would be enough. Oh God, babe. Don't look at me like that. Yes, she is pregnant, but I promise I will find a solution and, and everything is going to go back to normal. Just trust me. Yes, I'm asking you to trust me. I, I told you, I can explain. <sighs> I guess I may have promised some things to Anna too, but I didn't really mean it. I swear. You didn't mean it. You always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother. I loved you, and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. But now, this is happening, and you're trying to walk away. You have to think about it and to take responsibility for your actions. Even if I wanted to take responsibility, I can't. It's our baby, and you want to kill our baby. You're not a good person, Guy. You know things with the podcast haven't been going well recently. I'm practically broke. I don't want kids right now. And when we spoke about it, you agreed. I never agreed. Especially not based on your actions. You can't pretend you didn't know I would get pregnant if you didn't use protection. I can't have a baby on my own, you know? You participated actively. You said the chances were low as long as you were taking the pill. Low doesn't mean impossible. Man up! Why should I kill the baby? He's innocent. Listen, you should have a kid with someone you're in love with. And that loves you back the exact same way. The baby will have to grow up without a dad. And it will be your fault. You knew I was sincerely in love with you. And you took advantage of it. For your own pleasure. How is that my fault? Okay, fine. I was in love with you at the beginning, but my feelings changed. It would be cruel to bring up a kid in this world if you can't have both parents. What I'm saying is that you should take responsibility for what you did. I'm a victim in this relationship, and I'm carrying your baby. You act like you don't care and you don't want to have anything to do with this. Well, now I'm worried because now all the other girls have to get tested. Oh, the girls? At least four. Four? You are saying you slept with four girls without using protections? I hope you have the money for the children's support then. I don't have money and you know that. You just admitted that you are worse than garbage. Yeah, well, just get it taken care of. There's no need for all this drama. I want to keep the baby. I will raise him by myself. But you have to take responsibility. It makes no sense for you to be willing to keep this baby. I am not a killer. It's not about being a killer. It's about doing what's best for us. And also for that child. Neither of us are ready to deal with something like that. You are just being selfish. And now... I have to take a STD test as soon as possible, just in case. Anyway, get your lawyer ready. I won't let you run away after what you did. <sighs> Two lawyers? <sighs> Hold on. Babe, what are you talking about? You want to break up with me? No, no, no. You're the only one I actually love. I swear, I'm going to fix everything. You just... Give me a few days. Go, girl. Slap him for me, too. That's what he deserves. Seriously, Anna? Yes, seriously. I will keep you updated later. 
I really want to take the STD test as soon as possible. Good luck with your girlfriend. Babe, I know what it looks like, but... Yes, I said there were four other girls, but... Can I talk? Thank you. I won't act dumb and pretend I didn't cheat on you, because I did. That was stupid and selfish. I never thought this would affect you. I mean, you're the only one I truly love. Even if you probably won't believe me anymore, it's the truth. Babe, I promise I will break up with Anna and the others. Who? Uh, Jessica, Marianne, Rochelle, Angelina. I will stop cheating on you and, and become the boyfriend you deserve. Just give me another chance. I can't lose you. I know I should have thought about it earlier. Call me naive or arrogant, but I just never thought I'd be exposed. Yeah, well, I guess you can call me that one, too. I deserve it. Even if it was a really bad word that really shouldn't be pronounced from pretty lips like yours. Fine, fine, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? I'll do anything. Never talk to you again? But, babe, talking is what I do best. I, I get it. You know what? You need some time. I'll ask Manny if I can sleep at his place. I am so sorry, babe. I really am. Hey, Manny. What the heck did you do? What are you talking about? Things are becoming crazy on X. You got a girl pregnant? Dude, tell me that's fake. Already? Jeez, oh, that's too fast. Listen, Manny, I messed up. and I'm, I'm heading to your place right now. I'll tell you everything, okay? Just don't answer any of those messages and don't get involved. I already am involved, whether I want it or not. Because we are a duo. Guy and Manny, remember? You do know what duo means, right? Of course I know. I, I'm sorry. I'm going to fix all of this. Just, I have to find out how. Whatever, dude. Just hurry up. I'm almost there. Uh, I'm in trouble. Oh, what should I do? We are in trouble. My reputation will be tarnished too. I'm sorry. Stop apologizing and tell me what happened. You know, Anna? Anna? Hold on. Which is it? The Friday girl? No, no, the Thursday one. It, it doesn't matter. She called me and told me that she was pregnant. What? Holy I know, and that's not even the worst. I was with my girlfriend. The official one? Damn. You're in more trouble than a movie cast with Jared Leto. I'll lose everything. <sighs> we were already going to lose some of the audience. And now I'm going to lose my girlfriend? And all of your side checks. Yeah, that too. And one is pregnant. <sighs> she doesn't want to fix it. I could tell you that I warned you, but I'm pretty sure you already know that. Why didn't I listen to you? I don't know, man. You never did. I told you it was risky to have side checks. Especially with the amazing girlfriend you had. 
but you still decide to mess everything up. I can't let everything fall apart. It wouldn't be fair to you. To be honest, it could actually be an opportunity for me. What do you mean? I didn't know how to tell you. You're one of my best friends, and I love our duo, our relationship. But... But only doing podcasts doesn't satisfy me anymore. I'd like to explore more formats by myself. So you're going to give up on me too. Fair enough. Hey, don't say that. I'm not giving up on you. You're still my friend. But you know there's no reason for me to lose everything too, right? All of this is your fault. I know. <sighs> okay. Let's do one thing at a time. You should call your side chicks and break up. Now? Yes. Now. Idiot. The drama's already started on X anyway. It'll be one less weight on your shoulders. Okay. Then? Then... We will think of a way to get your girlfriend back, even if I don't think that's possible. Fine, I'll call them. Take your time. I'll leave you alone for a while so you could deal with this all in peace. I could buy some pizzas and wings to comfort you. Sound good? Better than I deserve, to be honest. A whole week of radio silence. Not a single one called me back. Guess everything's over now. Speak of the devil. Looks like only one is willing to give you a chance after all. It's Anna. Crap, what should I do? Be a man and answer. On whose side are you on exactly? Ugh, the side that won't make you stay in my place forever? <laughs> and you pretend to be my friend. Okay, I got this. Hey, Anna. Hi, Guy. It's been a while. Just a week. Pretty sure one of your other girls took care of you anyway. Not really, but why'd you call me? Oh, that. Congratulations. The test was a fake positive. I'm not pregnant. You won't have to take your responsibilities. <sighs> Thank God. Seriously. Looks like even pieces of garbage like you can still have a guardian angel. I know you disagree, but trust me, this is for the best. For everyone. <laughs> Je vais le tuer. <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to let you know, so I will hang up now. Wait, Anna! What? Do you think that, um, maybe someday we can... Get a drink together, or... Are you serious? How dare you ask me this? You know what? Yes, let's meet. So I can slap your stupid face so hard that you will never forget it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I'm really sorry. The only good thing about all of this is that I realized that I was with the wrong person. I don't need a man, especially a man like you. Hey, you don't have to be mean like that. It's unfair. I never pretended to be perfect. And you fell in love with me. Don't remind me of this. I can't believe I didn't suspect anything. I deserve better. Au moins, j'aurais pas de mal à trouver mieux. Bro, why are you laughing? What'd she say? Nothing, nothing. I think you should just hang up before she starts insulting you in French. Damn it. Okay, one problem solved. I can't believe you just asked her out. You're unbelievable. It wasn't to date her again or anything, it's just... I missed her. Like a friend, you know? You should have thought about that before putting her in your bed. I know, so... <sighs> Do you think I should call my girlfriend? ex-girlfriend and no you should talk to her directly stop being a coward and face her 
Well, the last time I saw her, she slapped me, so... Show the other cheek. So if she slaps you again, you'll be perfectly balanced, as everything should be. I'm going to pretend I didn't understand that reference, and try to think about what I'm going to say. Don't think. Let your heart speak for once. If you know how to do that. I won't have any choice if I want her back. Wish me luck. Break a leg. Babe. Babe, I, I know you're here. Open the door. Please. We need to talk. That's ridiculous. We don't have to talk through the door. Just open it. You may have nothing to tell me, but I do. Can you at least listen to what I have to say? Five minutes? It's better than nothing. First of all, I want to apologize. I know that no word could ease the pain I caused. I'm fully aware of that, but I never meant to hurt you. I swear it. I know I was selfish and I don't even get why I felt like I needed to see those other women. I already have the perfect girlfriend. Jeez. I am so stupid. I also want you to know that you're the only one I ever really loved. I love you so much with all of my heart. I, I feel like I'm losing you and I can't lose you. Not, not like this. It, it hurts too much to imagine having a life without you. I feel like my world's falling apart. I never realized how much I needed you. You're my everything. <laughs> what is that? It's my stuff? Wait, <laughs> babe, reopen the door, please. I've learned my lesson. I'll never hurt you again, I promise. Just give me another chance. I beg you. I, I still love you. Isn't that enough? <laughs> what a wild ride that was. Thank you for joining me on this production of my thinly veiled swipe at the Fresh and Fit podcast and their current drama. Up next is going to be some outtakes from production. Oh, you're right. Well, we were supposed to... Oh, you're right. Yeah, we were supposed to go to Nordstrom's. I completely forgot about it. About it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm whispering. Hey, love. Finally answering. I was worried. Are you okay? Yes, I am. I, I don't have Tom. I don't Tom. Don't think. Don't think. Ugh, the side that make... Sorry. Ugh, the side that won't make you want to stay in my... Sorry. Speak of the devil. Looks like the only one li Let me retake that. Speak of the devil. Looks like the only one... Oops. <laughs> Nothing. Why do you think... Why would you do anything... Why would I do anything to you? She slaps him. Ow. Damn it. I'll pretend I didn't understand the reference and try to think about what to say. I'm going to pretend I didn't understand that reference and try to... I'm going to pretend I didn't understand that reference because I still plan to date sometime in the future. I'm going to pretend I didn't understand that reference. Ref hey. Hey, hey. <clears throat> Wrong one. 
side chick. Transition as her as he goes to her place. He knocks or rings a door. I don't know what you like. I like knocking. How about let's try this? Nope, that doesn't sound like a door. That probably is worse. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. This this might be it. Nope, hollow. Too hollow. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, it doesn't sound like a door. Ah, kind of, kind of. I like that. I like that. Eh. There we go. Hi, love. You're finally answering. I was worried. Are you okay? Oh, that was cringe. Ooh. Oh my god. My periods were late, so I took a pregnancy test and it's positive. We are going to be. Ah, damn it. Boom, 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 boom. Down here. He speaks down here. I have my own podcast and I speak down here. Do you understand? I, I podcast. <clears throat> okay. Well, I see what's, what's truly ridiculous is trying to read like that. No, 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 no. There, we got everything. Everything's still powered, we're still recording. <sighs> Let me just try it in my hands then. You have me put some emotions here. <clears throat> what are emotions to a podcaster? <laughs> my periods were late, so I. My tongue making weird sound. My periods were late, so I took a. <laughs> you can do it. I want to keep the baby. I. It was too good to be true. Yes, seriously. 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 <laughs> oh, that. Congratulations. The test was a fact positive. <laughs> oh, that. No. Hold on. And scene. And scene. And scene. And scene. 